Hi! Hi, how are you? <clears throat> Welcome to Quilt Roadies. If this is your first time, it is a channel about quilting, I think. But um, I'm kind of in a bit of a um, rush these days because I decided <clears throat> that I could not wait another day to get the facing done on the wedding quilt that I had made. And so that's what I'm doing today. I'm facing a quilt and um, I have a tutorial if you um, Google quilt roadies facing a quilt. I go through it step by step. But um, yeah, I something happened uh, today. I woke up and I um, decided Wow, just like it seemed towards the last half of last year, the first half of this year is feeling like I, I better get on the bandwagon here and get things done um, because those deadlines just kind of sneak up on me. I'm sucking on a cough drop. <clears throat> last night was the first time I didn't take any cough, uh, you know, cough medicine to sleep so we are getting better <clears throat> but uh, poor G has it a lot worse than I do um, yeah you know it's winter we have grandkids we don't stay at home <laughs> we're bound to get something but I have had a good time in the beehive I uh, cleaned it a little bit because it was starting to look quite messy uh, just a little bit of housekeeping. At the end of this video will be the poster with the winner of the $35 gift card from the Fat Quarter Shop. So all you have to do if you see your name is to email me your email address because the Fat Quarter Shop will email you a code that you can use while you shop online. I'm very excited because I um, talked to Kate at the Fat Quarter Shop because I fell in love with this new line of fam fabric. Well, it was new to me anyway. Uh, J. Wrecker Fish. And I decided I just needed to make something out of it. So I'm waiting with bated breath for that to arrive in the mail. <clears throat> but in the meantime, I have a few things to share with you. You know, the thing about quilting or stitching or crafting is that there it's a community. It's a community. Yes, you can do it solitaire. You can be a solitaire stitcher, a solitaire quilter. But there is an opportunity to meet others that have a huge impact on your life. And I know I've told this story before, but um, when we lived on the other side of the mountain, <clears throat> it was in a community that had no fences. And I could see across the creek at this house that there, it, the house across the creek from us at one time was one of those um, VRBOs or, you know, the vacation rental homes. It was a large home. Um, but it was a, uh, like, you could rent it, um, you know, for family reunions or whatever you wanted to do. And um, one July, I saw that the home was occupied, <clears throat> and um, because my, my front windows just faced, just faced that, and uh, I could there was something about they were having so much fun this group of women were having so much fun and then at one point they were like setting up for dinner and they brought quilts out and i i told g i said oh my gosh they're quilters and so i walked out of my house went down the way crossed the bridge across the creek and walked over there and hi <laughs> are you quilters yeah, that was a moment that 
changed my world in a very positive way because this was what became to be known by me as the Twisted Sisters. The awesome thing was that they had been coming to the quilt show for years. Um, started with their mother bringing them. And their mother had passed and they still continued the tradition of taking classes. Well, they didn't really take classes. What they did was they enjoyed the quilt show and they literally, no exaggeration, there would be 12 to 20 quilts made in that week that they were there, quilt tops. And they were just as funny as all get out. And so it was many years of enjoying their company every summer. And so this Christmas, I, <clears throat> well, one year, I told the story to um, Valerie Wells, and, who um, kind of spearheads the stitching post and helps the quilters affair, organizes all the classes. You know, she's a part of the um, quilting dynasty in Sisters, and I told her the story of this family, and so she uh, made them a special exhibit one year. Um, so this Christmas, I got a, a photo book, and there's my Twisted Sisters. It is, you know, it's, it's beautiful, and this book means so much to me because it's not only a connection to a town I lived in, it's a connection to the quilt show, it's a connection to all the different groups. They they even took <laughs> they took picture photographs of food. Oh and here's the here's the fireman hanging. So I have this little flip photo book um, that was sent to me. And I cherish it. I cherish it as I cherish them. Yeah. And then the other thing that I got in the mail. <clears throat> um, oh, I, I, I misplaced it. <laughs> but <clears throat> hold on a second. H hold, hold your horses. Let me just stop it for a second, okay? Okay, <laughs> I found it. I haven't totally cleaned up. I haven't totally... So Pam, she was the one that sent me the hexy bookmark that just kind of blew all our minds. So in this package, I mean, it's just crazy as all get out because it opened my mind to possibilities. And she sent one inch stiff hexes all cut out and she sent me some of our junk mail because it never occurred to me that um, that I could make hexes out of junk mail the stiff cards you know the stiff cards well, phone call. I'm going to just let it wait for a second. So here's another hexy bookmark. I love what she says here. She goes, there's nothing wrong with the hexies being limp. It's a matter of preference. Do you want your stiff hexies or do you want your limp hexies? I tell you. So she gave me all these instructions, which is so cool because out of out of these some are stiff some is stiff junk mail, some is limp junk mail. And you can cut your hexi papers out of out of this. So I'm kind of like, it kind of opened my mind to a whole, whole different thing. What can I say? Thank you, Pam. You have blown my mind. So that was fun. Fun meal. 
the other fun thing that I had happen this week is um, I belong to the Patreon of uh, Van Accessibles, and <clears throat> Patreon, as I've said before, is kind of like a online magazine, but it's much more personal. And if Linda truly runs that Patreon, like um, you just you just feel like you're in a family. You're in a family, and there's all kinds of fun things. And she's putting out emails, and if you're if you happen to be more organized than I am, you show up on time and you have your supplies all ready to go while well, she shows you how to make something. So this last week, she was showing, and I have seen these for sale like at craft fairs, <clears throat> but she was showing how to make them. I could not even believe that I could make this while I'm on a Zoom. So I had my laptop set just as you are sitting there. Well, I had my sewing machine on. I, I muted when I was sewing. And I made these coasters. Aren't they adorable? Beehive coasters. It was like... I always wondered how those were made, and it was so cool. So I would say, and then she prints out how you do it, you know, so that if you can't make the actual Zoom, um, you can go back and print out a paper on how to do it. I, um, I have to say that I've had the best time with this Patreon, um, and I will put the link down below. And it's not just that I'm learning stuff, but as it's grown and as we've met um, on Zooms, uh, I now feel like I have friends all over the, the country. It's, um, you develop a relationship. You develop a relationship. So. <clears throat> now, I have, these are made out of a charm pack, you know, the five inch, uh, you know, the five inch square charm packs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I also had the two and a half inch charm packs, and I thought, what would it be like to make one of those? So while we were all together on the Zoom, I took two and a half inch charm pack and then Linda kind of talks you through it and so I said well I want to attach one of my covered buttons to it and so she explained well the best way to do that she explained how to do it and and then I put a little string on it because I'm I'm thinking I'm going to attach it to um, a needle book or a pair of scissors but look at this I created that out of a two and a half inch charm pack. I took, you know, four fabrics, five fabrics total, and, um, and then I, she told me how to sew that button. <laughs> Join the Patreon. Join the Patreon. <laughs> um, it was just, uh, I felt so accomplished. I did. I felt so accomplished. Um, and I have really been enjoying that. The only other thing that I did this week was I did sew my um, old Tannenbaum half, half square triangles together. And, and then I suddenly went, oh, wait a second, I've got to face this quilt. <clears throat> as far as books are going, if you're into the book thing, um, this latest book that I'm listening to is so good. So good on so many different levels. It's a fiction. Uh, it's a cultural, it gives you a cultural um, viewpoint. It gives you a familial uh, viewpoint. But it's called Honor. 
and um, let me just bring it up here so I can tell you the author. <clears throat> the author is Thritti Umrigger, and um, it's Honor, H-O-N-O-R, and it's based, uh, it's about, um, it's about uh, a news, uh, a reporter, a journalist, who goes uh, back to the country of her birth, which is India, to cover a story, uh, a crime story that's occurring there, that had occurred there. It is, oh, it's such a good book. It's so well written. And I would definitely recommend that. <clears throat> my girlfriend, <coughs> excuse me, my girlfriend, um, Robin, also turned me on to a um, Amazon Prime series, which I'm hooked on. And it's so funny because it's um, the books. I love the books. It was a book series. And um, Louise Penny. I don't know if it, many of you know Louise Penny books, but um, Inspector Grenache. So this is a series, a limited series on Amazon Prime, and it's um, it's like two shows covers the the book kind of thing. It I'm like totally hooked. I mean, I just want good TV, and this is uh, educational on top of being crime and and relationships, and it's just so good. It's so good. Um, so I would recommend that, uh, Three Pines. A little bit of sun out today. Might have to go take a walk. And we are still under construction. <laughs> yes, we are. And tomorrow is opening day for registration for the Quilters Affair. And I will be doing Sit and Sew on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I hope I see some of you there. It would be so much fun to meet up. And... <sighs> Other than that, I'm kind of getting ready and getting excited about Road to California. And I for sure will be bringing you some video from there. So thank you, thank you. Now don't stay tuned for that winner. And just contact me uh, on email. Love you guys. You take care.